Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you some of the features of Windows 7 you can get in your Vista or XP computers. Uh, one of them is Iro Shake. You probably heard of this one. It is pretty famous. Um, well, the effect of that feature is basically um, this the following. Uh, let's say we uh, this is my Visual Basic with my programming and stuff like that. And let's say I want to focus that. So all I do is I just shake it once or twice. And it minimizes the other windows. They get minimized to the taskbar. And uh, actually what you can do is just shake it once to minimize. Shake it once more. And it comes back that's a pretty good feature and that way you can pretty much shake it to concentrate on what you're doing that just click once or twice and it opens um, another fa another thing is called arrow peak it is really really good normally in Windows 7 when you drag your mouse to here the windows become transparent but while at this time you just need to go to the system tray icon and just click once and then it becomes all transparent and you can see the shadows and you get some reflections or something and you can see the desktop icons and the desktop background and all of that just click once again to get it back to get them transparent back transparent back and yeah that's a really good one and um, another thing is called Aero Snap. Uh, this one does that when you just take your windows up here, they get uh, maximized. I'll show you again. Just basically, they get maximized. And uh, here you get this one. And normally, well, it should make it half as big. Sometimes it doesn't actually. It's probably my version or something. Because it works with other people. Um, so here, uh, Arrow Shake is a little application that just click run, and uh, yeah, it just already works. You don't need to install it or anything. Uh, Arrow Peak, on the other hand, you have to install it, and so same goes for Arrow. I don't remember all of them. Arrow Snap, sorry. Um, I, I actually, it's pretty annoying to just. Each time you open your computer, click, click on start, open, all of that. Then just what you need is basically to just take it out like this from your desktop. And then click the window icon next to the alt uh, button or the window button on your keyboard. Then just drag it down to all programs. And then find the startup folder by going down like this. And then uh, hold it on there, even if it has that other sign. Then just tick it in. And here's Iris Shake, and it's gone from the desktop. That way you can easily get rid of it from there, and it will start automatically with your Windows computer. Uh, I mean, this is not features as uh, grouping the icons, getting a bigger quick launch. Uh, getting a theme, all of that. I mean, I have all of that. Um, yeah, so that's basically how or, or the features that I know of. I don't think there is anything else. And thanks for watching. Please comment and rate it. If this video helped you in any way, please subscribe to my videos. It will help me greatly. Plus, when you come to your home screen, you'll see uh, the newest videos of the people you've subscribed to, in case you don't know, which many people actually do know. So thanks for watching. Bye.